Hi, this is Ed from Starcore Tech Support. And in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at these four settings cache, raw, electronic scale, security, and product images. I'll go through all of them one by one. So let's start from the cache draw. So you have two options to connect your cache draw either via receipt printer, thermal receipt printer, or you can connect it directly via USB or serial port connection. So the first option is uh, via thermal receipt printer. If you select that option, then you would have to check this box and you can configure your um, cache drawer opening with the help of thermal receipt driver. You can consult your user manual of thermal receipt printer and you can configure whether to open the cache drawer before printing the receipt or after printing the receipt. And if you choose the second option, which is the USB or serial port connection, then you would have to configure all these serial port parameters as well. Now you can find out more about it by clicking on this button. And here is the explanation how you can configure via USB or serial port. And you can do a test here as well. You would have to enter the raw open command here. And it's basically a combination of uh, decimal code and if you want to use that function in POS so there is a shortcut key attached to that one which is control plus E you would have to press this key combination in POS to open the cache drawer at any time so the next one is electronic scale you can also connect a digital electronic scale which can send digital readings to point of sale so if you want to enable that function then you would have to check this box and uh, you have to configure all of these settings you have to configure all the parameters of serial port right and then you can find out more about how to configure by clicking on this button here and there are further details and different parameters which is a reading timeout weight start position weight digits weight divisor basically all these parameters are used to to decode the value sent from digital scale into a meaningful values in the point of sale and uh, by changing these value, you can also do a test by pressing this button. And if the digital scale is connected, the reading will appear in this box here down in this yellow box at the bottom. So one thing more, there are two shortcut keys attached to this function in the point of sale module. Uh, this one, control A and control Z. By pressing control Z, it will temporarily disable reading from the serial port. And by pressing Control A, it will enable. This is really important to disable when not reading from the scale, because otherwise there will be some kind of noise coming from the serial port, and point of sale will keep on uh, displaying those values in the point of sale. So always keep it disabled by pressing Control or Z key combination. And whenever you want to read from digital scale, press Control A to enable it right so now let's go to the next setting which is security this module is accessible from the home screen as well but let's take a look here so by pressing this button it launches manage roles roles management module and there are different roles already defined in the software but you can always add new with the help of this button or you can change existing roles as well for example if i select a role and uh, change its name then i have to press the update button this and it will change the name of that role as well and you can assign different permissions to each role update or modify whatever you want to do by pressing this button set permissions so here we can see these are the modules which manager has access to so if we want to assign more modules to this role then we can check that box for example if we want to if we want to give access to reports management to a manager then you need to click here so that permission will be granted and in order to save that permission you have to press this ok button right and similarly you can change other roles as well administrator role is the built-in role and you cannot change anything 
uh, it has access to all the modules by default all right so now let's take a look at the loss setting which is product images what you can do is you can place all your images product images which you assign to different stock items in a one folder on your hard disk and then set the path with with the help of this button by selecting that folder so the advantage of this approach is that uh, if you are using uh, this software in a network environment on multi stations on multiple computers then you can simply copy that folder over to another computer and select that path on that on that computer and all the product images will be available on that computer as well and it will show up in the inventory management in the product management also in the point of sale and this concludes our settings tutorial and hope we have answered all of your questions if you still have any questions please do not hesitate to contact our support team and we will be happy to help you further thank you very much